Nearly a century ago, Battersea Power Station helped keep London powered. Now its Art Deco control room has been restored to its former glory. So you might just have caught a glimpse of some original features in films like The King's Speech, but soon visitors will have the chance to see it close up. Uh, Bhavani Vardy has this report. It's what you'd expect from the grandeur of a ballroom rather than the beating heart of a coal-fired power station. From the gold-painted ceiling to the teak parquet floor, this is the first peak of Control Room A, which has now been fully restored to its Art Deco glory. And it's here that the energy created in the power station and turned into electricity there was distributed all over London. And you can actually see that from the names on some of these uh, distribution boards here. All the equipment is on display. This is the antithesis of digital. You know, you can see it all and you can see all the dials, but it is also the uh, most amazing stylistic um, architectural tour de force because it's very, very Art Deco. And you know, to, to marry those two up is really exciting. Built in the 1930s, Control Room A was an original part of the Grade 2 listed power station. And until 1975, it dispersed electricity generated by the turbines to large parts of the city, as well as some of our most famous landmarks. Carnaby Street 2 was the code name for Buckingham Palace, so hardly anyone knew that power to the palace was being sent from here. The rest of these gauges and dials distributed electricity to a fifth of the capital. The restoration was painstaking. Experts used 3D printing to recreate missing dials and levers, as well as digital colour scanning to match the original paint job. Both at home. The room has also featured in a number of films, including as a BBC studio in the Oscar-winning The King's Speech. And it was the backdrop for this rather surreal scene in Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. But in the autumn, it will open as an event space within Battersea Power Station, which is being transformed into a housing and shopping complex. This is the jewel in the crown of this development. It's a totally unique snapshot in in the history of, of this city and to see how people worked 80 years ago. This was a control room for a power station. It has parquet flooring, art deco ceilings, albeit a bomb did drop through the ceiling in, in 1944, but luckily it didn't go off. Just the, the, the quality of, of the finishes and the engineering show, I think, the country in, in a very different point in its evolution. So, as well as taking in the room's Art Deco features, it's hoped visitors will also get an insight into how London was once powered. Bhavani Vadi, BBC News. I can reveal exclusively there are some people particularly watching that. Maybe it's you, you're out there the same going, love, more dials the better. Just pictures of dials and ometers and all that stuff. People are loving levers. it. Levers, that's all the thing. That. Just want to pull all the levers, that. don't you? <laughs> Twist the knobs. Soon, be everyone will get access to that. It is. It's fascinating looking back, isn't it? It really is.